flamenco itself is so emotional. It goes from joyous one minute to soul-searching drama and then bursting into power and passion and defiance. The mission of Alvarada is very unique. Uh, where flamenco is very popular with many companies, Alvarada wants to preserve the regional dances, which are such a rich cultural gem that they have, and, and classical Spanish as well. A lot of these dances could be lost, especially in the United States. They're not getting to see it. In Spain, yes, there are still bastions of all of this culture, but in the United States, it, it, it brings the Spanish culture so much more alive than uh, just having a, one type of dance performed all the time. My father is from Spain, so it's very much in, in, in me. My mother's from Cuba, so it's a good balance between the two cultures. Both cultures have some spice and attitude and sass, and I love it. <laughs> but um, it just brings me home. Like, I have family in Spain and Cuba that I never get to see because they're so far away. So this is a way to just connect to them, um, and it just it brings joy to my family's eyes when they watch me perform, seeing that I'm doing something that they grew up learning in their country. So when we're being quiet, we do beautiful braseo, arm movements. So we do the flores with our hands and a nice arch back. And that takes a long time to develop this technique. And then, of course, there's the taconeo. That's when we get to make noise. So we start with a golpe and a golpe and a golpe, and it gets faster. has such a rich culture and a rich heritage and a rich history that involves many other cultures. So when we bring in Spain's effects on the world, on the new world, on uh, the Celtic influence from the Celts who occupied Spain, from the Moors who occupied Spain, from the gypsies that came from North India, through North Africa into Spain, from the Sephardic Jewish people, from the Byzantine <laughs> Christian. So you have this art form that is a melting pot of all of these wonderful cultures and then you create flamenco out of that. You don't have to be a dancer to do flamenco. You just have to have passion and the emotion, you express emotion. If you are, uh, some people turn to writing, some people turn to karate, um, why not turn to dance? Not only is it beautiful, but it's also a big exercise to do as well, just like swimming or anything else. It's a full body exercise. This is my exercise for the week. <laughs> it's my family history, it's my heritage. Coming out, trying to imbue in these children a love for the dance. It's so cultural, it's so educational. It doesn't matter what age you are. Flamenco is from your soul. If you feel like you can dance a little bit, join us. We will get you to learn stuff that you wouldn't think you've ever been able to learn.